Greetings. My name is Professor Lamy von Lusmanvog, aka the guy who put his brain in Great White Shark. I've been this way for a few years now, and yet I still feel like I don't know enough about the ocean or its inhabitants. So as such, I figure signing up for the show could be the perfect opportunity to know the other creatures of the deep in a setting where they won't jolt in fear from me. Plus, I just want my kids to be able to watch TV and go, that's my dad, because I feel like they've been embarrassed by me ever since my operation. And I think winning this show will, uh, finally get them to respect me again, you know? Yeah. So, please, pick me. So there, name's Professor Orson the Third, or just Orson for short. You may know me best as the guy who completely creamed the Loosmanvergs for 12 years in a row at every science festival. Or the guy who after that loser Lammy put his brain in a great white decided to one-up him by putting my brain in the superior orca. Regardless of how you know me, I feel like I would be the perfect contestant for your show. As due to being an orca, I'm strong, fast, and I'm very sociable. Honestly, I'm so qualified for this, you might as well just give me the money now. Because let's be real, none of the other lame fish signing up for this have any chance against the likes of me. And that's a promise. Hello. My name is... Garson, here to audition for the ultimate splashdown. I am definitely doing this of my own choice and not being forced to by my bot friend, friend, Orson. This is completely me. No one made me do this. This is definitely not a scheme he concocted for him to have two chances to win the money. Anyway, as you can see, I am a dolphin, so I'm smart and sociable, which are great traits for a show like this. So you might as well just give me the money. But anyway, pick me, I guess, because I am definitely alone here. Hello, my name is Monty, and I'm an eel. Well, half eel, but you don't want to know. Anyways, I'm not coming to the show to make friends or something stupid like that. No, 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 no. I'm just here to win that sweet, sweet, cold, hard cash. No matter who gets hurt in the process. <laughs> so please, pick me, because I promise to keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> oh wait, fish don't have toes. Uh, flippers. <laughs> so, if you want an interesting season, you will pick me. My first memory was being pulled away from my mum when I was just a pup. For the next three months, I was injected with a bunch of experimental chemicals that mutated me into what you see now. Afterwards, me and at least 30 other SEALs were put through rigorous training in order to become soldiers. Half of us died in the process. But the survivors were officially made into backup soldiers in case there was ever a shortage of human ones. But only a day later, the scientists received a note from the government to shut down, as they realized this was a stupid idea. So we all left and had to find other lines of work. Most of the others didn't last long in the real world. But I survived. I worked at a jack store for 30 years until it shut down, after the owner realized that no one plays jacks anymore. At that point, the union had collapsed anyway, so I decided to explore the world. It was at that point I became fascinated with strange animals and dedicated the rest of my life to finding and documenting the unknown creatures of planet Earth. A few years later, I met my partner in crime, Octoword, and we quickly hit it off and decided we would work together. We've had our ups, like the mutant lobster of Albania, and we've had our downs, like the Sasquatch Big Butt. But as long as we are together, I feel like we can do anything. So anyway, pick me for your show, because it sounds fun. Name's Octoword, world-famous artist, piccolo player, and cryptid hunter. For the past 30 years, I've been working in a dead-end job in order to pay for hunting equipment. But that ends now, because when I get that money, I'll finally be able to go hunting with my partner whenever we want. 
Plus, I could use the money to get out of this town and move somewhere with class, because quite frankly, this town is driving my nuts, especially my stupid neighbors. But I'm getting off topic. Choose me! My name is Martin. I'm a clownfish. But, but, but not Norcellaris. I'm a tomato. As, as you could clearly see. Tomato, not Norcellaris. Okay. Anyway, here with me is Dora. Hi. Powdered blue tang. Not regal. Powdered. You may know us from the decently successful straight-to-video film locating Ahab, where I have to find my so daughter, daughter, who had been kidnapped by an orthodontist and taken to Wellington, New Zealand. Along the way, we get into all kinds of shenanigans involving things like orcas, not sharks, orcas, sharks, not, not sharks, orcas. Got it? Good. And mana wars, not jellyfish, mana wars. Again, not jellyfish, mana wars. Completely original movie. Original. This plot has never been done before by any other studio. Yeah, I've never even heard of a Pixar. Anyways, we want to join your show so we can fund a sequel locating Dora. That's me! A completely original idea we have, where Dora has to go to Florida in order to find her parents at a, a, a zoo. Not an aquarium, a zoo. Completely original. So, so, so yeah, pick us please, because, uh, we really need the money. We, we don't have any other way to get this. We can't really advertise or else, I mean, uh, uh we, we can advertise, but, uh, we're too good for that. Y yeah, that's why we can't advertise. So please, pick us. Please. My name is Barry, and at the age of five, I was bitten by a radioactive barracuda, giving me the powers of the great fish. I can swim fast, breathe underwater, and I have sharp teeth. I tried to be a superhero, but for some reason, I noticed that nobody seemed to respect me. In fact, they all seemed to be freaked out by me for some reason. For the longest time, I wondered why that was. But then, I found it. I found a movie called Finding Nemo, and in it, there is blatant barracuda fear-mongering. After watching that movie, it finally hit me why people are so freaked out by me and didn't respect me. It's because of that stupid clownfish spreading lies about barracudas! While also glorifying sharks at the same time. Yeah, the sharks get personalities, but barracudas are just monsters. Thanks a lot, Disney, for ruining my rap! So, I'm joining the show so I can get the money, which I will use to buy the film rights to Finding Nemo and make sure that it becomes lost media and that we barracudas will have the last laugh! Hi, sweeties. Welcome to Mary Ann's Trench. Name's Angie, and for the past ten years I've been voted the most beautiful girl in all the abyss. But that ain't good enough. I want to be known throughout the sea for my fabulous looks. So I figured joining this show will be the perfect chance for the entire world to get a good look at me. And everyone will realize true beauty's been under the nose the whole time. Hi, I'm Esteban. You might know me from the hit kids show The Front Yardigans. I do, mo I do enjoy my time on that show and being with my friends and all. But if I'm being honest, I feel like I don't really have much of an identity. I'm just... Another one of the guys. I'm not special, I'm just another voice in the room. So I'm hoping that being on the show away from my friends will help me with this issue. Plus, please don't tell them I said this, but my friends' fantasies have been weirdly real lately and it's kind of freaking me out. So yeah, I just kind of need a break from them for a while. Pick me! Manguin's the name and bringing pain is Manguin's game. Manguin wants to join the show because Manguin is bored around here. All the other penguins are complete sissies. Manguin needs a real challenge. So, if Manguin is selected, then Manguin guarantees a world of pain for everyone who stands in Manguin's path to victory. And that's a promise. Would you shut up? It's the middle of the night. You've been ranting. Would you shut up? It's the middle of the night. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you criticizing Manguin? Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean it. I was just... Ow, 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 Yeah, yeah. Now, next time, keep your beak shut when Manguin is talking. Capiche? Yes. Okay. That's better. Anyway, pick Manguin, or else you'll get a taste of my famous flipper. 
Name's Fred. Fred the Fat Bear. You might know me from the circus act I did a few years back. Ah, uh, good times. At least until I had that nervous breakdown or some baloney like that. And they kicked me out of the troop. I don't see what they mean. I mean, I'm like the most sane person I know. Ain't that right, Bunny Buns? Oh yeah, you got that right, Fred. Oh, Bunny Buns, you always know just what to say. And when I get the money, I will use it to prove once and for all that they were wrong and I was right. Right, Bunny Buns? That's right. Who lives in a coconut in the ocean? I'm Lou Fudd Jim, who hangs out with brittle stars that are like me. I'm Lou Fudd Jim, who stars in the biggest show on the planet. Me and Fat Brick. So choose us for your show or you won't regret it. What he just said. Jim and Bat Brick. Jim and Bat Brick. Please, please pick us. We want to join on your show. <laughs> Howdy. Welcome to the Mog. These wetlands are where I was born and raised with my brothers and sisters. At least until Mama ate them anyway. Anyway, I heard about your Fancy Scales Ocean Fish show, and I decided to throw my hat in the ring because, quite frankly, I feel like all these fancy ocean fish need a lesson in what these swamps can bring. That is all. Hi, I'm Yolanda Ray, and this is my boyfriend, Manny. We've been dating for ten wonderful years. I mean, I've never actually talked to him, but I know he wants me. Well, the other rays try to take him from me, so I have to give him the sting. I'm hoping I can win this show, so he'll finally see I am the best ray. And plus, with the money, I can take him to a fanciest place he's ever been to. So please pick me, so I can finally get Manny. Okay, first off, I'd just like to clarify, I am a caiman. Not a crocodile, not an alligator, caiman. K-man. Got it? Good. Secondly, you might have heard some rumors that I worked with the reptilians. Which, yes, that was true, but to be fair, they paid me a lot of money, so if anything, I'd blame economics for my decision. Anyways, I'd like to win this show to finally give Cayman a leg up in the world and show we aren't just beta alligators. We are our own reptiles, and we will no longer live in their shadows. That is all. Greetings, creatures of the world. My name is Sir Arana. I was the result of a college student's lab project to uplift a lesser life form. And as you can see, it worked like a charm. And in order to fully prove it, I wish to sign up for your show so I can demonstrate my superiority over all other aquatic life. I don't even care about the money. I just want to prove that all the stupid tuna and brain-dead salmons are nothing compared to a genius of my caliber. That is all. Sup, dudes. Name's Mush. Welcome to my little corner of paradise. I was born and raised on this beach, and for the past 80 years, I spend all my time sipping kelp smoothies and playing ukulele ballads. Now, this life is great, but I've recently realized this is all I've been doing for the past eight decades. So I decided I need to do something more interesting, which is why I've decided to sign up for the show. Because I've seen the previous seasons, and dudes, you guys do some gnarly stuff. That seems totally awesome, and I want a piece of that pie. Plus, if I win the money, I can buy private beaches for all my turtle bros. Not just the sea ones, either. Even the river dudes will get their own piece of heaven. So yeah, dudes, pick me. Greetings. Welcome to the Amazon. My name is Annie, and ever since I was young, people have been afraid of me for some reason. Maybe it's because of my unconventional appearance or the fact that they're put off by my strength. Regardless, I figure this show would be a good opportunity for me to finally leave the jungle and maybe make friends, because I've seen your previous seasons and there's a lot of weird creatures on this show. And who knows, maybe one of them would not end up being afraid of me. Hopefully. 
Hello, my name is Gerald, and I'm a snail. Hello there, chaps. Sir Slashington the Fourth Esquire here, with my audition for the ultimate splashdown. Though, quite frankly, I never understood the appeal of the show. It's just a bunch of fish doing stupid or gross things for money. The only reason I am auditioning is because some of me mates dared me to do it. Plus, I figure I could bring some actual class to this game because, honestly, I think it needs it. Not to mention, I, uh, think the money could help me purchase more nice stuff because I like nice stuff. Sup? I may be a jellyfish, but my real passion lies in the jams. Ever since I was a polyp, I've been into the jams. And ever since I grew tentacles, I've been jamming every single day and every single night. You might know me best from a hit singles like Out of the Box, Jam a Fish Jelly, or Man of Peace. Well, how could I forget? I got a new merch line dropping next month, so make sure you get your calendars, because it's going to be sweet. <laughs> Wait, oh man, the show, right? I say pick me for your show, because I promise it won't be quiet as long as I'm around. Peace. This right here is old Betsy. I made her from the wood of an ironwood and a sharpened volcano rock. <laughs> oh, the gills I've slit with her. If that's not good enough for you, though, I've got at least 13 other bladed weapons, each sharper than the last. <laughs> Anyways, if I'm selected for your show, I promise it'll be very interesting. For me. <laughs>